definitely got my hands on the um, the Ice Tower case case. So in a previous video, I did a full-sized Ice Tower kit, and now I have an aluminum case with the Ice Tower cooling fan. So not only do you have the cooling fan, which for those of you that don't know, it cools freaking amazing, but it doesn't protect your pie. But what if we have a case that fits this low profile fan kit? Well, that's what we've got today. So it seems fairly simple. There's just about six screws here on the case. So here's where I messed up is I just followed the ice tower. There's two boxes with this kit. One is the ice tower kit, and it gives you the standalone kit without the case with this acryl acrylic this clear acrylic piece as the base. But as you'll see here, this you, you, it's not gonna fit in the case properly. <laughs> so there's some bonus content. You actually get two cases, um, but if you want to use the aluminum case with the ice tower fan, do not follow the ice tower fan instructions. Go straight to the metal case instructions, which we're gonna do right now. But there's some bonus content for you. All right. so. We got our risers on, these two spots. Then this goes on here. Make sure you go put your ports through the portholes. Ports through the portholes. This is where it gets a little weird, is you actually need to thread in the riser backwards. Kind of weird. And the risers, they say you could just screw them. Like a screwdriver, we'll see about that. Yeah, I guess you can screw them and you just gotta push down. All right, now this one's gonna be a tough getting it behind the ethernet here. Ah, see, real tough. I'll grab that one out later. Ah, I'll grab that one out later. Okay, other two fall out, cool. Now our pie is in there, nice and snug. And we'll be able to tighten this once we get the fan on in there. So now we can uh, grab this on here, let's throw it in. Cool, that looks good. And how do you want us to screw that in? Just with a little screw. Okay, that should be fairly simple. Easier said than done though, small spaces. Okay, that makes sense then. And then we have to hook up our GPIOs here. Red, farthest right-hand corner GPIO, skip a GPIO, and then the third one is a ground. That's all on the row closest, the second row, not the first row, second. All right, we finally got it. You can see it's not going anywhere. No loose parts or anything. We just wanna match up the outputs here. And then we gotta screw in all these screws. And then we gotta run a speed test. Make sure it looks good, but here you go. So wall, wall mount, big room for the fan. Should probably plug it in just to make sure the fan was working, because if this isn't working, I gotta reopen all this stuff. But I have a feeling it's gonna work. Hey. There you go, a color changing fan on this one. Cool. Cool stuff. You should be left with a little piece of acrylic here and a bunch of extra risers and a screwdriver. So some nice assembly stuff. All right. I can already tell you it's gonna be good. We're already at 20, 27 degrees, 28 degrees. Let's warm it up. Let's see how we do. So um, a couple of things about the case while this is test is running. Um, the SD card is quite a bit in there. You definitely need tweezers. There's no way you can get that out with a fingernail. Absolutely zero. Um, ton of ventilation all the way around though, and it is a nice aluminum case. The 
price point's great as well. You know, not much to, you know, knock there. But you can still access all the ports. They're running really great. And the fan is not loud at all. You can't even hear it. You can hear my laptop fans way more than the Pi fan itself. I'm going to put the mic right over here. I'm putting the microphone right on top of the fan. Very, very quiet. And that's on the 5 volt setting. You can lower that setting even more. I'm just going to run a quick temp and run this thing again to try to heat it up because in the past, these uh, heat sinks do incredibly well. So look at that. I went up to 32. So we went up 4 degrees from 28 to 32. Let's run it again. And this should be done in a second. I'm going to run it one more time. But um, if you've been following my videos, you know, an actively cooled case like this with that huge thermal heat sink on it, uh, it's going to be plenty good. We're, we're not going to get this heated up at all. And for those of you that are new, note that the Pi needs to get up to like 75, 80 degrees before it starts throttling. So there you go, 33. We went 28 idle to 32 full load. A double full load down to 33. I'd be surprised if we knocked to 34. For those of you who've been following my other videos, it's not the best cooling case, but I have to say this is in the top three now for sure. And the fact that it all comes in one package with everything you need is a nice, is a nice thing for sure. And it has that color changing LED, nice matte aluminum finish. So while this finishes up, I'll just run a couple more temps to just see how long it takes to get back to normal. Um, the other thing to note is remember I added that heat sink paste to it. So that's definitely adding about, I would say from what I've seen so far between a generic uh, uh, paste, it's somewhere between three and four degrees. Um, with that said, even with the generic paste, it's still going to run really great. But for those of you that want the best of the best, you want to run it, you know, like that. So we went up to 34, 33, 34. And because this case only has one fan, yeah, it's going to take a little longer to cool down. But it got a 32 there. So final thoughts while I just do this. It's amazing. It's great. Um, I like the color changing LED. I like the matte black. Um, it's really cool. I think it would look cooler if it was clear myself, just because I really think that the ice tower case itself, ice tower fan uh, and heat sink look amazing. Um, you know, you really have to kind of, you know, you can't really, you just see the fan really. Um, I do like that as wall mountable. Again, you know, it just has like an option if you want to um, have like an LED thing on the wall. So as you see, it's staying pretty high up there now that it's heated up. So it does not cool down as fast as some of the other cases I've done, but it's still plenty good. So cool case, cool all around, two thumbs up. Could be a good option for all you. If you want the best cooling off solution though, you ought to take check out that dual core, that dual fan kit that I did. But you're talking a lot more money, a lot louder fans. It's a nice nice common ground for a great performance. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.